I'm meteorologist Callie Zanandri. It is a first alert weather day again today because we are expecting some very windy conditions. That wind will ramp up. Peak wind gusts expected this afternoon, especially across the foothills, the mountains, and across the Palmer Divide. But it will still be breezy here in the Denver metro area with wind gusts 45 to 50 miles per hour by this afternoon and through the evening. Tomorrow, we are expecting the wind to die down just a bit, but it will still be breezy tomorrow with wind gusts dropping to around 20 five miles per hour. We do have a high wind warning still in place through 7 p.m. tonight where we could see wind gusts up to 65 miles per hour and those warm dry and of course windy conditions have prompted a red flag warning through 10 p.m. tonight for high fire danger gusts up to 50 miles per hour possible. On the first alert satellite and radar starting to see some light snow up in the high country sunshine to start here in the front range but we'll see that snow really ramp up through the day especially on on the higher peaks and passes above 10,000 feet. You'll see that here on the future cast. Snow on and off in the mountains today through early tonight before we see that clear out. Not out of the question, we could see a stray shower pass through the Denver metro area, but the majority of us staying dry today, the big weather story going to be the wind here in the front range. With that wind and the snow, we do have a winter weather advisory in place through 6 p.m. tonight. We could see an additional three to eight inches of snow. Travel especially tricky along I-70 up over Rabbit Ears Pass. That snow mixed with wind gusts 55 to 65 miles per hour will see visibility less than a quarter mile at times. As far as temperatures go today, still on the cool side. We'll top out in the low 60s here, 62 in Inglewood as well as Lakewood, with the upper 50s in Westminster as well as Longmont by this afternoon. Even warmer down in southeastern Colorado, we'll see upper 70s, low 80s with 30s and 40s in the mountains and 60s to the west. Then we turn our attention to tonight. Things get downright cold. We'll be right around freezing here in the front range, and that has prompted a freeze watch for the Denver metro area. This does include Boulder, Greeley, Fort Collins, Fort Morgan, up through Sterling, as well as Deer Trail and Lyman, and a freeze warning is in place. This includes Castle Rock as well as Monument Hill where we could see temperatures as low as 27 degrees. We always tell you not to plant until Mother's Day, and this is why. So if you have done some planting, make sure to bring those plants inside tonight. And if they're in the ground, make sure to put a blanket over them to protect them tonight. Now, this watch does extend out to the western slope where we could see temperatures drop as well. On the super seven-day forecast tomorrow, the cool weather sticks around, but it will be slightly less windy tomorrow with gusts only up to around 25 miles per hour. Then on Thursday, a better chance to see some scattered afternoon showers and storms leading into Friday. But by the weekend, high pressure builds back in. Temperatures climb into the low 70s, so we'll see a nice warm up in time for Mother's Day. And that trend continues to next week, where temperatures will stay slightly above normal in the low to mid 70s with isolated showers possible.